Now, I had a few worries this morning because originally I was going to drop Isabel off and then I had to go and get breakfast for Zoe and her bridesmaids. So I had these visions. I said, what, what, what do you want, Zoe? And she said, go and get us an old egg muffin, Dad. I'd love an egg muffin. And I had these visions of Zoe in a beautiful dress with egg yolk and ketchup running all down the front of it. So I am incredibly proud of Zoe and, and I love her deeply as, as a lot of people here do. And we're all very proud of the person that you've become uh, and the life that you've made for yourself and now the life that you've made uh, for yourself and Jack. And a lot of people, you know, have been involved in that. So, you know, I'd just like to mention your mum and Simon. We've also got your grandma and granddad here who you've always been very close to. So Brenda and Rod. And Auntie Audrey, I think Auntie Audrey's here as well. Auntie Audrey's just always been a fixture in your life. And Zoe, we're all, we all love you very much and we're all very proud of you. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Jack Thomas Mansfield. That I, Jack Thomas Mansfield. Do take thee, Zoe Philippa Atherton. Do take thee, Zoe Philippa Atherton. <laughs> You know who she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I'm going to start with a warning as well, because all we've heard for the last three months is how much his suits have cost Mancy's dad. <laughs> and if we damage them, we have to pay a sell. So whatever anyone does, don't give Jack a part of diesel. Because <laughs> all we've known, we used to go out, if you got in a white t-shirt and you're near Jack, it were pink. <laughs> so please, don't give him a part of diesel, so I'm wearing this suit and I don't fancy paying for it myself. That's one thing I don't want to do. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Jack, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now on to the most important person today, my beautiful wife. You look absolutely stunning. And I knew you would and everyone else did too. i got to read first. Can't process everything. All them years ago, who would have thought we'd have been here today? We, we moved in together after two months, although Sue wasn't happy, was she, Sue? You didn't even know her. You were well pissed off. You didn't even know her. Anyway, all that aside, we've done so much together in the last seven or eight eight or nine years. I don't know. We've and we've created so many memories. And even more with Murphy. I can't wait to extend our family together and see what the future holds. Jack can't speak, he used to go, kishy, <laughs> after a few diesels. He said, 
go right, Jack. Shishy. <laughs> so I think, right, I'm locked out. Where do I go now? Oh, sack it, I'll go round to Jack's. It's only down the street. So I wander's in. I buzz in. Jack must not be home yet. The door's open. Let's me tell him. Wander's upstairs. Is that you, Jack? Shishy. <laughs> Let's miss Ellen in his bed, gets in bed. For some reason, I'm levered anyway, so God knows I was still awake half an hour later. But I hear door go. Jack comes in. John, John jumps up out of bed. <laughs> Who's coming in my house? I hear out commotion. I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm in for it now. <laughs> Both run up, John runs downstairs, talks to Jack. Oh, Jack, well, who's in your bed? <laughs> door opens. John and Jack are stood there. I'm in bed. All I said was, hee <laughs> hee. And then, and then that were it. Jack got in bed and just went to kit with me. <laughs> it's not all funny stories, though, about Manse. Uh, so I've got some serious things to talk about. First of all, in what has been a challenging year for everyone, but for, for Mansi more so as well, he's looking well, and thanks to Dutz, his personal trainer, the bald chap over there, good lad. Man Get more! Get more! <laughs> Mansi's been tanning the gym for the last seven months, and, and he's done it for today and, and for Zoe, so we're all proud of you for that, Mansi, so well done. So obviously you've gone from Gill Street, you've got your own house, you've got Murphy, and now you're Mr and Mrs Mansfield. Uh, and we're going to propose a toast, and we're going to wish uh, Zoe and Jack a very happy marriage, and a very long and very happy life together. So once again, if everyone could raise a glass. So please, would you all joining me in wishing a toast to Zoe and Jack. It's been a bad day, I'm just going to put that out. Must have that out. I think Amy were in at the time. Straight in, fruit door, slam door, I'm thinking, who's that? Nene, I've never heard anyone scream as much in my life. You ain't done this, you ain't done that. I'm thinking, Jack, what ain't you done? I said, I don't know. Anyway, I were up there for an hour and a half before I dare come downstairs. She didn't, she didn't even know I were there. I still don't think she knows I'm there till this day. True story. 